Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we're gonna be taking a look at the new collection from Cleonda Cosmetics that they did as a collab with Emily Violet Marie, who is another amazing creator, and I am super excited for this. I picked up the whole collection, and that includes nail polishes now, because apparently it wasn't enough that Cleonda was making like amazing shadows. Now they have highlighters and nail polish to go along with it, so. Yes, <laughs> we are gonna take a look at absolutely everything. So, first up, just the kind of extras that are included with the collection. You get this really cute dragon fruit holographic sticker. I absolutely love stickers. I collect them, I put them on literally all of my things. And so this was great for me. I, plus I just, I really like holographic sticker things. I feel like my hair currently is sort of, um, channeling there's something about Mary for those of you that are of my age group like <laughs> it's uh it's kind of got a mind of its own right now with that like extra floof thing going on so don't mind that <laughs> the other extra that you get is this really cute little makeup bag that has like the colors from the dragon fruit it has the Cleondo symbol on the zipper and then inside it looks like the inside of a dragon fruit and so it is just super super cute also comes with like in the inside like these extra little strappy things so you can put like your brushes or whatever in there uh, I actually think this would be really really awesome for like if you're traveling and you have like electronics and you need to like have a place to put your charging cords and stuff that's what I like to use these for so think that's awesome. But now, let's just go ahead and jump into the actual makeup side of the collection. <laughs> All right, so the first thing up that you get is a set of brushes. They come in this really cute package. It is a six brush set. <laughs> Messing up everything on here. And they are so pretty. So they match the color of the packaging, but then the tips have this like hugely like lime green color on the edge there and I absolutely love that and they feel so soft they're definitely synthetic <laughs> but oh my goodness they are they are so so nice and soft so I might be dipping into a couple of these today and one of the things that I thought was actually really really nice that Cleona did was they included a lookbook with the palette so that in case you were like hey what should I do they have two different looks that they show you how to make and they also let you know which brushes they used as you go through the steps for them so I thought that was really really nice I'm going to be doing a different look because I already took a sneak peek at the palette and I already know what I want to do. I'm feeling the purple vibe today. So we're going to go with a hardcore purple look. <laughs> but these brushes just in general are so, so soft. They feel so nice. <laughs> I, I love soft brushes. All right, then let's take a look at those nail polishes real quick. And they are uh, nice. I'm going to give them a little shake a rooney here to make sure that they're as spicy as we possibly can get. And when you're looking at them initially, they look very similar. You're like, ah, oh, they're both some shade of like pink. Uh, wrong. Because they are both multi-chrome nail polishes. And so the first one that we have is Dragon Teeny. Let me get you in close here. So on this particular one, you are getting a whole lot of like yellows, greens, along with that base that is kind of that magenta-y pink, but you're getting a lot more of like yellows and greens along with it, and then some orange in there. And then I'm almost seeing some some purplish blue as well, but definitely the, the primary shimmers are like orange, green, and yellow on top of that pink for this one. And then this guy, which is Patea, you're getting more of the blues into greens, into purples, uh, on top of that hot pink. So there you can see some of the, the bluish to lime green into a little bit of purple. So it's definitely a whole other scale of like shimmer shifts that you're getting. And so they are very, very different. The only thing that you have in common is that the base for both of them is like a pinkish magenta -y shade. But the shifts that they have, very, very different. So I am excited to test those out because you guys know I love me some good multi-chrome nail polishes. So we will be testing those out in a week or two. <laughs> so then the next thing that we have is highlighter and there are two that came with this particular collection. We have Patea and Tropico. So let's have a look-see and give these guys a swatch. Let's start with, ooh, 
All right, so Patea. Ooh, she should be pretty. All right, let's uh, let's give it a swatch of Rooney here. Okay. Oh wow, it is reflective. Okay, so definitely has that like magenta base, but then goes between bluish green and purple. And oh, so there's the pink base. There's already some of your bluish purple. And then look at that reflect. Oh my God. That is, that is nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. From back here. Oh, she's blinding you. These are going on my eyeballs. <laughs> Don't even care that they are meant as highlighters. They're going on my eyes at some point. <laughs> All right, and then Tropico is the other highlighter. Okay. Also has that pinkish base, but looks completely different. Like it looks like it's gonna have a whole lot more of like a goldish kind of sheen than the other one that was definitely more purplish blue. Oh yeah. So this one goes between like a limey green, orange, pink. Like <laughs> It also has a lighter pink base than this guy does. There's your like yellowish to goldish orange and limey green equally as like super reflective. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my God. And with all of these, this is like one swipe. That is burger. All right. They're going on my eyes. <laughs> it is decided. <laughs> now we're going to go into the big mamma jamma which is the actual dragon fruit palette. It is a uh, plasticky case. It is heavy duty, but I definitely love all of the holographic, like look at that writing. This is holographic. And then the back, oh, she's a beautiful purplish pink. I love it. Oh man. Falco decided to join us here for a second. He was like, she's too far away. And I'm in the process of uh, reorganizing and designing my filming room. And so he was like, I can't get to her. So now you guys got to see a little bit of Falco, which just makes every video better. <laughs> He's gonna be hanging out here, so now I'm a little more off to the side. Mm -hmm. But another thing that Cleonda included that I thought was really, really awesome is this little guide for the formulas for all of the different shades in the palette. So that's like the first time that I've ever seen a company do that, where they legitimately lay out for you like, these are the duochromes, these are the satins, the metallics, the shimmers, whatever it ends up being. So I thought that is awesome. So we are going to be using this as our guide as we go through. I will see if I agree, if I disagree. I'm probably gonna agree. They seem to know what they're doing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the inside, first off, you get probably one of the clearest mirrors that I've ever seen. So like, look at this. I hate the side of my face. <laughs> look how weird I look, oh my God. <laughs> but this is the palette inside there. And the fact that they include this deep purple to go along with everything else is just perfect. That's why I'm like, I wanna make a purple look because the fact that they have a deeper purple in there, mm-hmm, we're gonna, we're gonna have a look with some depth to it. So I am very excited, but we're gonna swatch everything real quick and then we will jump into an eye look where I will show you what it looks like, see if they are as good of quality as just their normal multi-chrome shades, because I've actually never owned anything from Cleonda that isn't a multi-chrome, so I am very excited to see their other formulas and how they work. All right, so of course, right off the bat, one of the two bigger shades that they have in here is Bubbles, and that is a multi-chrome. So here we go, let's have a look-see. It looks almost kind of iridescent -y to me in the palette. Um, yeah, it's definitely got uh, a clear base to it and the shift goes between like a goldish, like champagne-y, very light gold into a lighter green and then a very light turquoise blue with like maybe a hint of some orange in there. So there you can see that kind of light seafoam blue, a little bit of the limey green and then that kind of goldish in there as well, but very subtle with that iridescent, but the reflect is just awesome. Like you can see that from space, but definitely the, the gold and then the blue are kind of what I am really picking up the most, but 
Oh, there's a little bit of the orange. You can catch a little bit of the orange there at the end. All right, I'm glad I continued to rotate it. Yeah, but that is, that is gorgeous. All right, the next shade up is going to be Refresh, and our guide says Refresh is a standard metallic, and I would agree just off of initial... Yeah, it is definitely a very solid opaque consistency and no shift to it it is just a really nice hot pink so that is that guy um i would say definitely a normal metallic almost borderline satin to me because the like amount of like shine to it but I mean, I think that's also just because I'm staring at these guys and I'm like, look at the reflect. This is probably like a normal metallic and I'm like, it looks dull in comparison to these. <laughs> it's just because the others are so, so good. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next one, which is Strawberry Pear. And that is what they say is their velvet satin. So we'll be able to get a good comparison between the two. Okay, yep, yep. Yeah, it is totally because I was just thrown off by the level of shine of these. So when you look up close at these, definitely this has a normal amount of metallic shine to it. Much more of a satin on this kind of reddish strawberry shade. All right, the next one is gonna be Dragon Teeny, very much like the nail polish. And it is also a multi-chrome, very much so. <laughs> All right, let us take a look. Oh yeah, okay. This guy is like, if you took these two highlighter shades and you just created one big shade, that is the Dragon Teeny shade. Because it starts off with that pink base, but then it just has all the shifts. There's some gold shift to it, some bluish purple on the top. It is just all of the things. And look at that reflect again from the back area. Oh man. All right, the next row starts with the shade Infusion, which is one of their sparkle shadow formulas. I very much agree with that. It uh, it actually, to me, seems like it has a very similar formula to the Bubbles shade, which was the first multi-chrome that we swatched, but we'll see how much of a shift it has, if, if any, since it just says that it's a sparkle shade. But to me, oh yeah, it's like a, li like a light lilac purple, and then it's got like some gold glitter on top. So you can see just a beautiful lilac purple and then a little bit of this gold sparkle that is on top of it. But a very similar formula as far as like the crumbliness goes to the, uh, the multi-chrome shades, very similar. All right, then we have one of the two duo-chrome shades and this is Hylocerius, which is this guy. Ooh, it is a smooth consistency. And this guy, yeah, definitely goes between like a darker cranberry red and then like a, a blood orange red. So you can really see that, that deeper kind of cranberry and then a little bit of that more blood orange red. Like there you can see the blood orange red into that kind of more cranberry, more really more raspberry, I think, because it's got like some purplish undertones to it. Really beautiful shade though. Then we have the shade Sweetened, and they say that Sweetened is one of the velvet satins, and oh, look at that shade. That is, that is a beautiful shade. Oh man, I'm not even like a fan that much of like Barbie pink types of shades, um, which this is the irony of this palette being a primarily like, many dragon fruit shades. So there's gonna be a lot of reddish magenta-y pink shades. But this guy is like, oh, I would wear this as like a lip color. Like, look at that, look at that bold lip. Oh, that is gorgeous. And I would even say like, almost borderline metallic. Like it's got a, it's got a nice level of shine to it. Then we have another standard metallic, which is the shade Exotic. This is like a deeper, there's just something about it. This is like a like a deep raspberry. Look at that shade. Deep, deep raspberry. Oh yeah, that really shows you the deeper raspberry shade that you get in this duochrome. So this duochrome to me is almost like if you took these two shades and combined them together. <laughs> That's what you're getting in that duochrome. <laughs> All right, and then that deep, deep purple shade that we saw, Prickly, that is also one of the velvet satin shades. 
Oh, that's such a good purple. Oh my gosh. That is, a, it's not too blue. It's not too red. Oh, that's such a good purple shade. Oh my God. Okay, so here's my thought for what I'm gonna do for this look. I'm gonna take this guy and this guy and that's gonna be the look and then we're gonna have this guy on the inner corner or perhaps this one on the inner corner. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, ooh, I don't know. I might throw on one of those highlighters on my face just in general. <laughs> just to spice it up a little bit more. <laughs> okay, final row. I probably am gonna mispronounce this word, uh, but it is one of the velvet, it's I think the last, yeah, it's the last velvet satin shade and it is Catacea or Catacea? Um, I'm sure, but it's like a limey yellowish green. Oh, these two shades together. Mm. Oh, we know I love a good lime green. Oh my God, that is, such a good shade. Oh. Next shade is Dragonfly, which is the standard metallic shade, and this is a green green. Oh yeah, that's like a mint green in comparison to the limey shade. Definitely you're getting more of a shimmer on this one as far as it being a standard metallic, and then really you're able to see that these guys are your satin shades, because there's not nearly as much reflect as the metallic is giving. Just the boldness of these shades is just blows my mind. All right, down to the last two shades. First up is Fruit Fizz, and they say that that is a duochrome shade. It looks orange to me. Okay, so it's it's orange into like a pinkish kind of shade. So it's like the the lighter version of this, where you've got like orange into kind of a corally red. Yeah, there's the coral red up top, and then the orange as I am moving it. Yes, very nice. All right, and then the last one that is the other super large pan, because there are two super large pans in here, is Effervescent, and that is a sparkle shadow. Makes sense, it's very crumbly. <laughs> All right, and that is a very nice kind of peachy shade. So it looks like peachy with some goldish shimmer on top. Definitely more crumbly, really, really nice. I mean, yeah, that would, that was lovely. Mm, all right, so this is the whole palette plus the two highlighters. So we got all of the shifty, shimmery things, all of the bold, solid shades. It is just, <laughs> this is gonna be a very bold look, to be sure. <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump just right into that so we see what it looks like. Okay, so I usually prefer to use a bit more of a packing brush than what they have. Um, this guy would be definitely more of a blending brush and I'm wanting super high pigment, so I'm gonna use a packing brush instead. And we're gonna start off with Infusion, which is that lighter lilac shade for the front half to two thirds of the lid. And then we will go into Prickly, for the outer third, and then kind of do the same thing on the under eye, and then I think we're gonna go into bubbles for the inner corner. So it's just gonna be three shades that we're using, but I think that's a good combination of like three of the four, or really three of the five, I guess, uh, formulas that they have in the palette. And I might mix in just a little bit of no, I don't want to mess it up. No, we're gonna go solidly purple. I have not done just a solidly purple look in a while. That's what we're gonna do. Let's start with infusion. All right, this is just such a pretty light purple shade. I really, really like it. It's very like 90s-esque to me. <laughs> I used to like, like I would just coat my entire eyelid with a shade like this. And so this is just very, like it's taken me back. <laughs> All right, so then we are gonna go into Prickly for the outer third of the lid. And I can definitely say there is some fallout so far because I was definitely packing that on, um, but it's not outrageous. Like it, it's not like 
super crazy noticeable. Like I probably can brush that away here in a minute and it'll be just completely fine. Right, so I am going to do pretty much the same thing to the bottom, but they layered really, really nicely. The prickly shade had zero fallout, which was really, really nice. Even though I thought it was gonna be a similar level of crumbly, it is not. And so there was like zero fallout. So I am going to do the under eye real quick, and then we will jump into the inner corner, and then we are gonna throw on mascara and be all done. All right, so then the last thing that we are going to do is for the inner corner, we're gonna go into the shade Bubbles, and then I will tight line and throw on mascara, and also at the very end, probably throw on one of those highlighters just to see even more of a glow on top of the highlighter I already have on. So, here we go with Bubbles. does change the whole vibe <laughs> of the look um, there's a lot going on I think I actually kind of want to ever so lightly dip into that lime green oh yes that was the correct decision oh yeah so throwing that on top um, because that is one of the satin shades uh, it was not going to be very sparkly, but because I put it on top of bubbles, it is extra sparkly. And I love the combination of purples and greens. That's like one of my favorite combos. And so this just added a whole other dimension to this eye look. So I am going to highlight real quick and throw on mascara. And then we will back to throw on a highlighter and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. <laughs> All right, and we are back. So I am going to throw on one of these highlighters and I think I want it to be, oh yeah. Um, it's gonna be the Patea shade because I just think that this like purple to blue, it is this top one right here, that that is gonna go great with the eye look. So I am going to use one of the new brushes for this guy. I'm just gonna pack it on there and then see what happens. <laughs> Oh, wow. So it definitely has a darker cast to it. <laughs> um, so that's of note. Um, but it is beautiful when you see it on there. So <laughs> that is definitely stunning. But yeah, it's got quite a cast to it. So let me go ahead and take my thicker brush and blend it out a little bit. Okay, that made it look a bit more like blush until you like see it from the side and then you're like, ah, highlighter. But <laughs> that was, that is definitely quite a, um, hmm, interesting. Yeah, I think that's the, the only critique that I would have of everything is that, that that is quite a deep cast to have on there. But I mean, now that I've kind of blended it out, it does just from the front look like I have a bit of a blush on and that's kind of it. And then when I turn my face, then you can really see just that really cool shift on there. So that's that's really, really pretty. I mean, I think I'm still gonna end up using these uh, highlighters as eyeshadows rather than highlighters in the future, um, but it is really, really pretty. And for the eye look, I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, I think it looks absolutely gorgeous, but I'm going to come in close so that you guys can see all of it. So here is the eye look. I went with a very standard purple on the uh, the waterline. And I think that the, the pop of like lime green that I added on top of the bubbly shade in the inner corner, I absolutely love how that turned out. Here you can see up close the shine of the highlighter and everything just blended together really, really nicely. So I think all of it was awesome, but I would love to know what you guys think. What do you think of the swatches? 
all of the business there. What do you guys think of these nail polishes? Should I test them out soon for you guys and let you know how they look? What do you guys think of how cute these brushes are? I don't know. Have any of you guys picked up any of the, uh, like any of the parts really of the collection or the whole entire thing? Uh, if you guys have, I would love to know what your guys' thoughts were of everything, but I think the quality is just as good as any of the other stained glass uh, singles that I have from Cleonda. If you want to see a video where I swashed all of those that I have, I'll link that up somewhere <laughs> for you guys to take a look at that so that in case you're curious as to what just sheer multi-chromes from Cleona look like, you can check those out. But this palette is really, really pretty. You can definitely see uh, that a lot of the shades are pretty chunky on there. They got a little messy for me. Um, but as far as like on the face, it was really, really easy to clean up, very minimal fallout, and it didn't look bad or anything like that and the satin shades don't have any fallout at all. So it was really just kind of that sparkle shadow formula um, that did, and that's kind of to be expected because there's a whole lot of like glittery speckles in there <laughs> that get you that shine, so that makes sense. But I now would love to know what you guys think of just all of it together. <laughs> Let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did not, as we always do here. And if you made it to the end of the video and you've not yet subscribed, I would love it if you would join my family on here. We talk a ton about indie brands, do super colorful makeup, swatch all of the things. I've started to throw in some clothes and other unboxings as well here or there. So if you like that kind of stuff, I would highly recommend uh, subscribing. And other than that, you guys just go have a good one.